Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the, in the Father, Father and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today is a special day in our country known as Veterans Day. Perhaps the holiday you've heard of, or maybe you've heard of it, but aren't quite sure what it's all about. Let's take a few minutes to find out more. First of all, what exactly is a veteran? By definition, a veteran is a person who has served in the active military, naval, or air service, and who was honorably discharged or released. Maybe you know someone that was a part of our armed services. Maybe it was a relative who lived many, many years ago, or perhaps a friend that you know now. Either way, if that person served, in our, served our country in times of war or in times of peace, he or she can be called a veteran. Why do we celebrate Veterans Day? World War I was known at the time as the Great War. This war ended when an armistice or a temporary stop of the fighting between the Allied nations and the German in Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918, at 11, 11 a.m., is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. One year later, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day, and in 1938, it was made into a legal holiday. Armistice Day was primarily a day set aside to honor veterans of World War I, but in 1954, after World War II had required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen in this nation's history, and after American forces had fought in Korea, Congress voted to change the word armistice to the word veteran. November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. How can we honor veterans on this special day and every day? We can thank them for their service. We can take time to learn about the many different ways they served our country. We can probably fly a flag at home we can write them a letter or have a conversation with them and really listen to their answers. And very importantly, we can pray for them. And so, let us pray together as we now listen to this reading from the letter of St. Paul to Colossians. Brothers and sisters, God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Love is more important, to, more important than anything else, it is what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is a part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let, us peace, let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. We would like to extend a very special thank you to our, our guest today. Two of our students, Brayden and Kaylee, know him as Uncle Luke, but we know him as Specialist Gurjik, who is a member of the Army National Guard. He's been a member of the Guard for six years. Thank you for your service, Specialist Gurjik, and thank you for being with us here today at our prayer service. Let us always pray together to be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient as we remember our veterans and these intentions. For all military and safety forces to be kept safe as they carry out their duties, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the veterans who have served our country and for those who have given their lives for our freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. From our intention box, a prayer for my dog Killian who has seizures and fell down, prayer for my pet fish. The eighth graders would like to pray for all their friends and for nature and for the Lake Catholics football team as they go to the state competitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We have a special prayer for my grandma and 
another for my great-grandparents who are moving into a nursing home on Friday, and my sister who is playing in states this weekend. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. John O. would like to pray for anybody that has or has been around COVID-19 and is quarantining. Caitlin and Haley would like to offer prayers for all nurses and doctors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have a special anonymous prayer for my family and a prayer for a friend's husband who is having surgery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also remember all of the prayers in our St. Mary's petition book. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for Jerry and Kathleen Kosmak, for whom our school mass is offered this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. This morning, we continue to recall our deceased relatives, friends, and faithful departed. As we read their names and light our virtual candles, please continue to hold them in your heart, remembering that as we pray for them, they also have the power to intercede for us in heaven. Grandma and Grandpa Bublis. Grandma and Grandpa Stasas. Joe Coyle, Megan Coyle Riviera. My Grandma and Grandpa Bangini. My Grandma, Poppy, Coach Kyle Elig, Angie Regano. Eternal rest, rest grant unto, unto them, thee, O Lord, and, and let perpetual light, light shine upon them with your saints forever. Amen. Charles Hartman, Sandra Benz, all our grandparents and great-grandparents, deceased cousins and friends, Mrs. Mott, Father Stirk, my uncle, Bailey, Claire, St. Julie, Grandma, Nana, Gadu, Christopher, the Obergefell family deceased, Edward Talega, Edna Staunch, the Talega and Staunch family members who are deceased. Eternal Eternal rest rest grant grant unto them, O Lord, Lord, and and let let the perpetual light shine upon them with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. Aunt Sue, Nani, Grandma Morgan, Joe Regano, Ken Thomas, Carol Sheffield-Leone, Aunt Jean, Martha Lasnick, George Lasnick Sr., Cheryl Lasnick, Grandpa Flower, Aunt Nancy, Aunt Barb, Great Great Grandma, Great Grandpa, Grandma Cheryl, I'm sorry, Grandpa Charlie, Grandma Sandy, Carly, Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. Grandma, Jeff, Cousins, and Grandpa, Andy Luptak, Florence Luptak, Ray Chodnicki, Addie Kalori, my grandma and aunt, my father and aunt, my Lola, my dad's mom, mom's friend and my neighbor, my grandma and grandpa, my great grandma and great grandpa. Eternal Eternal rest rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with your saints forever, for you are merciful. Amen. As we finish today, let us take another moment to honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice 
for the common good. Thank you again to Specialist Gurdjieff for being here today and to all veterans who serve and help us. Let's close with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.